know a lot of you have worked with the Course, you know, Jesus says mm -hmm. in the workbook that the Holy Spirit must work with specifics in order to undo your belief in them. So a lot of times I hear people say, all is God, all is one, love is all, and you know, it's la da 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 but, but they still have a lot of belief in specific issues, specific relationship issues with children or partners, specific financial issues around not having money or bills or investments or strategies. They still have specific issues with the environment, allergies seemingly, or uh, anger at political leaders, presidents and so forth. They still have a lot of specific issues that they haven't addressed and they've been using the Course of Miracle Principles to metaphysically ghost over those unconscious beliefs without bringing them to the light, without bringing them to Jesus from the bottom up as, as Jason says. If you don't do that, then all that glossing over with all that pretty spiritual phraseology is like putting icing on a cake of mud. You know, if you keep just taking the top of the cake and getting the icing, you can keep fooling yourself that things are sweet. But unless you dip down under that icing and get your finger down in some of that mud and actually push the icing away and say, Jesus, oh that's right, your course is about bringing the darkness to the light. Your course is about exposing the beliefs, exposing these thoughts, expose, exposing these self-concepts. If I'm just using affirmations and I'm just using the course to just play around with my finger with the, the, the sweet icing on top of the cake, then you should know why you're not experiencing consistent peace because you're not doing the course as it was intended. You're misusing the course. The ego is trying to use the course to keep hidden to keep covered up. So I think one thing that I, that's really come to me is you also remember from reading the Course where Jesus says, you know, Jesus was the first to complete his part in the plan of atonement and now he is in charge of the plan. Jesus also says in the Course that he can work miracles indiscriminately. That basically all we're to do is to ask Jesus, how would you have me serve? What would you have me do? And Jesus says, I will perform miracles through you and, and Jesus can perform them indiscriminately Jesus, because Jesus knows where in the plan they would be most helpful, where your strengths would be most helpful. He's got the bird's eye view, so to speak, the spirit's eye view of everything and can use miracles in a constructive way to heal as many errors and clear as many errors away for the entire sonship if you will allow your mind to be under his direction. So in other words, Doing the Course is one thing, but if you look back at the history of Christianity where there was no Course in Miracles, did Saint Teresa of Avila have a Course in Miracles? No. Did Saint Francis of Assisi have a Course in Miracles? No. You know, did, did uh, Meister Eckert have a Course in Miracles? No. Did Mary Baker Eddy have a Course in Miracles? No. <laughs> I mean, I could go on for, for 20 minutes to tell you of all the mystics and saints who did not have the benefit of A Course in Miracles and yet did they lead very expansive, mystical, heart-opening, mind-opening lives? Yes, they did. And what were they using? Many of them were using the Bible. It always fascinates me when I hear Course in Miracles students being so critical of the Bible when there's so many mystics and saints that use nothing but the Bible and prayer to reach a state of beautiful union with God. So, uh, you know, again, this is an ego attempt at trying to project out onto the form. And in Slava's case, you know, since Jesus is in charge of the plan of atonement and she was so willing to just listen and follow what Jesus was saying, that's the fast track. That's faster than sitting there and let your little human eyeballs move over the course for 25 years and chit chat about it when you, there's a direct connection with Jesus Christ that's available to everyone and if you plug into that, that voice will tell you, I've got it. I will handle everything for you. If you'll serve me, that voice will tell you, I will handle 
your relationships, I will handle your body, I will handle your health issues, I will handle your financial issues, I will handle your educational issues, I will handle everything that you're concerned about in time and space if you will simply just listen and follow to me and follow my instructions. You see how fast that is of a fast track? Because then you don't have to spend all this time figuring out how you're going to pay the bills, how you're going to cut the grass, how you're going to do the dishes, how you're going to feed the children, how you're going to handle that doctorate thesis, how you're going to handle that uh, leaky roof and, or leaky pipes. You know, the, there are many problems on the level of form that will just distract you away from really your one requirement, which is simply to tune in and listen to the way shower who has transcended time and space and let the way shower direct you in very specific ways of how to collapse time for everybody. You see the difference there between just reading the course and going through this intellectually versus actually going into the goal of the course, which is to forgive under direct guidance of Jesus and the Holy Spirit and then to come to the happy dream. If you want a realistic goal, the happy dream is a good one.